city of New York to really remember that the people who sponsor the parade are giving such an extraordinary gift to the people and to the city of, of New York. And so I really thank those who do come out. We are very demanding of our sponsors. They have to be creative. They can't just come here and use the audience. So when people come and are sponsored the parade, they're putting a lot of effort into it. So I thank people like Captain Morgan for that. And now, <laughs> I have never seen them. I hear that they don't talk when they're in the costumes. They only growl. And I've heard some rumors that I'm going to get a kiss. So I'll give you a kiss first. Here they come. <laughs> What are you dressed up? Thank you. I'm not dressed up really. We you are think either. I am? You think I am? Yeah. You think this is a good costume? Uh, We're not dressed either. I know you are. And neither am I. I'm also in an altered state of consciousness. Sort of like Enjoy. Do <laughs> you want us to stand up so you can take some pictures? Yes. On this one. Nice. Yay! I love it. You guys are so well behaved. <laughs> How about up there? Ready? Now for us on this side. I hear you see the tongue over here. Ah. Hey, over here. Over here. <laughs> yeah, I got your tongue over here. Over here, buddy. <laughs> Gene, pull right down the side of the face here. All right. Online. Thank you. We got the tongue over on the side. Of course, yeah, a put dirty. the tongue over here on this side. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, hey, one more of those over here. Hey, over there. Where are you from, France? <laughs> yes, exactly. Hey, the same place y'all from. Should we start, kids? Yeah, um, if you all would like, would you like to answer some questions? Yeah, it depends on the question. Okay, well, I don't know what the questions are, but there are some mics, I think, here that you all can come up to and, uh, and ask questions. Not all at once. <laughs> all right, I'll get a question. How does it feel to be at Grand Marshals of the Horror Parade here today? Well, being New Yorkers, you know, I mean, this is a tradition that goes back as long as we remember. So uh, when they asked us to come down in costume, we were going to come down in suits and ties. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, we decided to wear our street gear, and we're happy to see a whole city full of people who look as freaky as we do. <laughs> How about the tribute bands were dressed exactly like you? How does that make you feel when you see them? Uh, <laughs> fix the microphone. How does it make us feel to see all the tribute bands, all the people dressed like this? Like this one? They're very good. All the people dressed like us? Very good. Like Very good looking. Class A. Yeah. Hey, when you guys turn on the radio today, as opposed to 1973. I'm like, sorry? When you turn on the radio today and listen, as opposed to when you guys started in 1973 here, do you like it to hear? Keep that door shut. Uh, you know, for me, there's two kinds of music. There's good and bad music. And it doesn't matter what category it falls into. So uh, there's some good stuff being made, and there's some stuff that I don't like. but. I don't have to like everything. What about, what about your new album? You said it it's amazing. But, well, <laughs> you said it's like newspaper print. You want, it to, you want the ink to be wet. To reflect you today. How are you today? How are you? I'm quite well. How are you? <laughs> um, I, I think we're here to talk more about Kiss stuff. Let's, let's, talk, about, let's talk about that. I heard the Is record it rocks. Right? Paul played it for me. Be quiet. I'm talking. I was in Paul's car and played the record at Rocks. Called Live to Win, it's out now. Buy it, his mom wants another house. The only reason Gene's saying that is because he wants me to plug what he's doing. <laughs> 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 I have I've been down here, to, uh, I've been to the parade before. And uh, pretty freaky. I have a question for you guys. When you guys, when you guys first started out, did you guys ever think you'd become as big as you are now? Bigger. <laughs> when you dream, there are no limitations. 
everybody dreams, you know, they fly through the air, they're the king of the mountain, difference is we are. What's on the roster for KISS as far as their agenda going forward, and are you working on collaborative or independent projects also? There's always going to be more KISS, because uh, KISS is like a beast we couldn't kill if we wanted to. You know, the fans tell us what they want, and uh, they want us to tour, and we will tour again. It's, uh, it's something that never really stops. It's, it's uh, out of our hands at this point. It's a beast that we can hold on to, but at times it takes us where it wants to go. But in case you haven't noticed, this has turned into a KISS world. You can go and get your KISS fragrances from head to toe. If you have a crevice, it may as well smell good. Underarm deodorants, <laughs> shampoos, his and hers, top to bottom, it is the hottest thing out there. If you're in Myrtle Beach, go visit our KISS coffee house. It's mega huge. It's going to sweep across the country. It's going to be a franchise. The Kissology six-hour box set was just released. Our partners are VH1, Viacom, and it's already kicking ass. There's, there's nothing. We're going to be a part of every single bit of your Don't lives. you feel like an audience at an infomercial? Is that it? <laughs> yeah. You're all supposed to go, oh. How long does it take you guys to get all dolled up like that before coming out? How long does it take you to get dolled up before you come out? I wake up looking like this, darling. Sure. <laughs> nice, nice streaks in your hair. That must have taken five seconds. Two hours for us. How about you? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, dude. Why these costumes out of all your costumes to the parade? Why not? I'm sorry. Why out of all the kiss costumes? These, these costumes ones. We wanted to wear the happiest colors, <laughs> so we chose these ones. Okay. All right, guys. Throughout the, the good times and the bad times in life and the heartaches, you stuck it out. Why? And how'd you get through it all? How'd you get through You're prepared, aren't you? You've got questions. <laughs> you know, I think everybody needs to set goals and dreams for themselves. And uh, you set challenges and you don't let anybody get in the way of achieving them. So, um, you know, we're here because all the people who said what we wanted to achieve would be impossible were obviously the ones who failed. And maybe uh, we love what we're doing and that's why it continues. Because uh, you have to love what you're doing. If you don't love it, how can somebody else? We've seen them come, we've seen them go. The latest, the greatest, the fashionable, the fads. You made it happen. It blows. You gotta be who you are, whether people like it or not. Studs and leather, we created it. You smell it, we wear it. Heels, you wish you wore these heels. You guys been doing things tonight for the kids who were born 20 or 30 years after you got started? No, just with their moms. <laughs> Any more questions? I got one. Um, what, would you, what would you tell the young musicians and the artists today? What, what, what advice would you give the young artists today that just starting out in rock and roll? The best what advice you, you can them? give anybody is don't listen to advice. Right. You know, because we got where we got by not listening to people telling us what we could or couldn't do. So the best advice is to not listen to anyone else except yourself. How did you come up with which concerts to use on the DVD? That's a good question. The new DVD, Kissology, six hours long, and uh, it's out of our archives of uh, footage. There's concerts from San Francisco in 75, uh, Houston 76, and um, a couple of others. There's also footage of us rehearsing without makeup in the early days. So it's really a lot of historical footage, and they expect to sell, I think, 50,000 copies this week. But we wanted to take really the earliest footage that really showed the band in its infancy when really all that mattered to us was rocking and rolling. You know, it wasn't about doing it for money. It was doing it because we loved doing it. This six-hour box set, the mother of all box sets, Kissology is volume one. There will be more. He hasn't told us otherwise. <laughs> But is that true? I mean, do you have to be business people for this? Um, you, know, we, you know, what we have done is listen to our fans. If we're merchandise, it's because people want to affiliate themselves with the band. So they buy merchandise that uh, we put our name on. But, um, you know, in terms of how much we sell, we're told that we're number one. We sell one thing. It comes in lots of packages, lots of sizes. We sell cool. We sell kiss cool. Cool spell with a K. That's why this is a kiss world, baby. Over here. How appreciative you guys are to the fans that have been around for a while. Oh, sorry. Guys. Uh, <laughs> We're talking. <laughs> the fanzines and uh, the, the, the little guy. And how appreciative you guys have been around for, uh, you know, all the guys that have been, you know, the fanzines that interview you guys. It's stuck by you guys for 20 years plus. 
how appreciative are you guys? We never forget the people who put us where we are. I mean, I never became famous to forget my roots. You know, you can see me on the street, you can see me in the market buying stuff. Um, if you stop being in contact with the people who made you what you are, what are you going to sing about? That your butler has, you know, jock itch or that, uh, you know, your chauffeur didn't show up? I mean, I think it's important to stay, you know, grounded. I mean, it's sometimes difficult with eight-inch heels on, but I do my best.